hello guys welcome back let's continue our music service that will contain notifications so in the previous video of this series i have already told you that we have to use this bind service method in our on resume method that is override on resume method so i have just cut that code and here i will write just on resume and you can see the overriding method and here i have just pasted that code that we have cut from above from on create method after doing this we will not get any error from bonding and unbonded service so we have done this and now we have to first create a class and before that i am going to create a method that will show the notification into status bar so i am going to create here a method that will be show notification and which is having a an argument and that argument will be of integer type and this will be to show the play pause button in notification so int play pause button as an argument into also notification method and here we will first initialize an intent new intent equals this and the second argument will be main activity dot class this will be used to create a pending intent that is content intent when we will click on the notification we will go to our main activity so here we will write pending intent dot get activity and here we have to pass the context as first argument that is this and the other will be request code let's say zero and now we have to pass the intent that we have created just above and the fourth will be flags i'm going to pass it as zero and now after doing this now we have to create another intent that is previous intent for clicking the previous button in notification so previous intent equals new intent this comma notification receiver we will create this class notification receiver dot class so first of all i am going to create this class so just copy this and here i am going to create a class just paste it that copied code means name and it will extend broadcast receiver so broadcast receiver it will implement a method that is on receive we will implement it later now here in our main activity in so notification method we will create a pending intent that will be previous pending intent equals pending intent dot get broadcast you can see this and here we have to pass the context you can see the hint and the other will be request code let's say zero and also the intent that we have created previous intent and the last one will be flag update current we have to update the notification flag update current using pending intent dot flag update current and now semicolon and we will pass this pen previous pending intent in our notification so we will use it later and also we have to set the action into our intent and that action will be imported from app class that we have created press alt enter now you can see the string variable that is in application class and it is of type static so we can import it and the action is action previous we will use it later in our broadcast receiver just copy it and paste it two times for making play intent and play pending intent and also here for next intent and next pending intent and we have to just pass the argument and also we have to change this to action play and here to action next that is also imported from application class and here we have to change previous intent to play intent and also here to next intent 
and then I'm going to create a bitmap that is picture for our thumbnail of music files so bitmap picture equals bitmap factory dot decode resources and this will decode resource using get resources comma the resource id of the thumbnail that is track files are released dot get position dot get thumbnail and now the bitmap is created after this we can create notification using notification notification equals notification compact dot builder here you are getting error just because of you have to initialize it using new notification compact dot builder and now the error is gone now we have to pass as context and the channel id from application class let's say i am importing channel id 2 and after this we have to set small icon and that will be track the small id just pasted the code for our thumbnail to show in the status bar and here you will set the large icon also and that will be picture that we have created above here and after this we have to set the content title that will be shown as a title of the song so set content title here we have to set the title using track release dot get position dot get title this will get the title at index position and also we have to set the content text and this will be treated as the artist that is track files are released dot get position dot get singer it will show like the singer name and then we can set the action using add action and uh, this will be r dot i drawable dot the next icon button the vector asset that we have already added and this will so as previous so we have to change it to vector asset of previous title previous and also previous pending intent that we have created and just copy this and paste it for two more times for play buttons and next buttons also change this to play pending intent vector asset for next button and title for the next button and also the pending intent for the next button and now we have to set the style that is media style so set style and before that we have to add a dependency into our gradle module app and this is the implementation of the dependency now sync now after syncing finished here we have to write new android x dot media dot app dot notification compare dot media style you can see the suggestion and after this media style we have to write dot set media session and inside this media session we have to pass the token and so for the token we have to first create the media session so here we will create media session media session and we will initialize it in on create method media session equals media session compact new media session compact we are not seeing any of the session for media session compact and so media session compact as yes, you can see and here we have to pass the context that is this and then the tag but there is error 
player audio whatever you want the as a tag we have to create this as media session compact now the error is gone so after this we have to get the token of media session using get session token and now we will set the priority for our notification so we have to set priority and that will be notification compare dot priority let's say low and then we can also add dot set content intent for click event on the notification if we will click on the notification we will go to the main activity using content intent and also I am setting set only alert once it will alert only once and after that it will not alert and now build and for showing the notification we have to create notification manager instance using notification manager equals get system service and here we have to pass notification service and semicolon and now the error is due to we have to cast these to notification manager and now the error is gone after this we will notify this notification manager notification manager dot notify and we will have to pass the id as a constant value to update the same notification and the other will be notification and now let's check if there is something missing yes i have missed this we have to pass play pause button that we have passed from so notification method that will update the play pause button and now we can call the so notification method into our play click method previous click method and next click method so notification and we have to just pass this I see pause icon I see play icon and inside this previous clicked method we will show the notification after this title setting the text and also I am going to check first this is playing condition that is media player is playing or not just remove this code and show notification if media player is not playing then pause and if it is playing then play and also just copy and pasted here for previous button click method and now let's run the app and see if it is working or not so the app is installing and here you can see the app is crashed and why it is crashed you can see by clicking again on it there is a crash on main activity at some line and the app crash is just because of the track files are released is not populated yet after this it will be populated and now we can get the position and get title at this index now the app is su successfully installed and launched and here you can see there is no any notification now click on this now there is a notification you can see with a thumbnail and title and artist also you can see again the song is changed in notification and also in locket you can see the playing is true but at this moment we are not able to change the song from notification panel we will see it later that's it for the tutorial thank you for watching